So in this video, we know that the leg of a right triangle is equal to 9 centimeters and the hypotenuse is equal to 15 centimeters. The question is, what is the length of the other leg? So I like to sketch problems like this out to get a sense of what's happening. Let's say this is 9, an unknown length, and there's my hypotenuse. This is my right angle. Now I'm going to label this as our first leg, 9 centimeters, something, and our hypotenuse of 15 centimeters. Well, how do we use the Pythagorean theorem, which says a squared and b squared is c squared, to find a missing leg? Well, let's plug in what we know and go from there. So a squared is 9 squared. That's 81, because 9 times 9 is 81 c squared is 225 because 15 times 15 is 225. We don't know b squared. So if we think about this as just being some unknown term, we know it's something plus 81 gives us 225. Well, if I want to know what this missing something is, and I know that to get from that number to 225, I had to add 81, well, then I know to get back to the missing number, I could just subtract 81 from 225, and that would give me my unknown. So what's 225 minus 81? I'm going to do the subtraction up here. 5 minus 1 is 4. Borrow 100 over here. 120 minus 8, 80 is 40, or 12 minus 8 is 4. 100 minus nothing is 100, so 144. That's b squared, 144. But of course, you want to know the square root of that, because b squared is just a square, right, off of the side length right here. We want to know the root or the side length of that. So the square root of 144, whoops, square root of 144, is just 12, because 12 times 12 is 144. So this side length. Um, point an arrow up here, the side length is just 12. So the process for finding a leg is pretty similar throughout. First, you set up the Pythagorean theorem. You plug in what you know. In this case, it was one leg, A, and then the hypotenuse. And then, B squared will always equal C squared minus A squared. Right? It's just rewriting this equation in a different way. So this is probably the equation you would use to find a missing leg, and it's just built off of this one right here. The original, or I guess I should say most common way of writing the Pythagorean theorem. All right.